In this section, we're going to look at plumbing the chimney breast. Now, when you hang in a paper such as wood chip or a plain paper, you don't necessarily have to plumb the chimney breast. And you plumb the chimney breast to get your pattern straight. But if you hang in a paper with no pattern, then obviously you don't need to. But there's no point showing you one way and then expecting you to do another way when you start hanging pattern paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to hang this wood chip as if you're hanging pattern paper. And the key to getting a really good finish on a pattern paper, say this is your chimney breast and you've got your recesses, is symmetry. If you can get that symmetrical, that looks lots, a lot better. So, if I've got a paper and it's got a big pattern, such as that, I want it to be in the centre. I don't want it to be over here and then have half like that. I want the pattern to be in the centre. So I know we're not hanging pattern paper, but we're still going to centralise this paper. So to do that, what we've got to do is we've got to measure just the width of the face of the chimney breast. So I'm going to do one there. So that is there. One metre, 220. Now I've got to find halfway. So half of that is 610. All right. Yeah. Yes, I am. Double check. So I'm going to find the centre. Uh, 610 and to remind me it's the center I'm going to put a C on it like that now that is the center of my chimney breast <clears throat> but if you had a piece of paper and it's going on like this how can you see that mark if that's where you put your plumb line <clears throat> well you can so what you've got to do is this you've got to measure the width of your paper Come on like this, measure the width. Right, I've got the width from my paper. Now this has expanded a lot more than I said it was gonna do. This has expanded to 545. We started there with dry paper, 532. Now we're on to 545. Not all papers expand that much, but wood chip is very pulpy and it does. <clears throat> so, now, what I've got to do is, I've got 545. So then I need to, 545. I need to divide that by two. So two's into five is two, remainder one. Two's into 14 is seven. Two's into five is two, remainder one. So 272 should be, Half of 545. Let's have a check. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the C mark in the middle. I'm going to do 272. And this side, I'm going to do 272. So that's where my paper's going to be. That's going to be the edge of my paper now, down there. So because I want to do a plumb line, I don't have to do it down both sides. I only have to do it down one. So it doesn't matter which one you do it, okay? We're going to drop a plumb line down here. And then the paper's going to go to here. And it's going to be completely central because of our working out. If you haven't got that, just rewind and have another look at it. So, one bob here. I would say this is one of the things that go missing more often than anything because people put them in the pockets just like I have and then forget to hand them back. Um, and they only, you only find them when you put them in the washing machine. So not a good thing to find in your washing machine. So, when you're doing a string line member, Wait for it to stop before you start marking. Don't start marking while it's still swinging. Okay. So, again, face on. And because there's quite a few lines on this wall, I'm going to do my little signature tick. It's just me that does that. I've never come across anybody else that does that. 
I think some old guy told me once when I was an apprentice, and I think I've stuck to it ever since. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. It's inbuilt into me now, I can't, I can't stop. I'm not going to go down to the bottom because I know that if I've got it straight to there, surely I'm going to have it straight to the bottom. So, wind your prong bob back up. And then we'll be ready to hang this first piece right in the centre. So, again, have your arm, with my pencil, make sure I've got my shears, smoothing brush. Hopefully I'll know what I'm going to do now. Two top corners. Put my fingers in the back there. And let go of the back bit. Put my boot there. There we go. And then I'm going to look and offer it up to that line. So I want me wastage. I'm going to think of having it straight. There. This is a really good wall to do it on because it's got um, like an eggshell finish on, so it's really slippery. So I'll go up to the line, taking the air out the top bit. Like Some people sometimes get bogged down with all the other bits that they get to smooth it out. So just make sure you're putting a bit of pressure on. See there, a bit of wood just coming out, look. So, it's a little bit of wood, and that's what it is underneath that layer. So it's like a duplex paper, if you remember what I said. Duplex papers are two layers, and they're sandwiched together. And the filling, in this case, is actually chips of wood. And this is what it's called, wood chip. Right, so as I said, I didn't need to do the bottom. I put it my line, and it wasn't there. So, into. And then trim, trim, and then I'll wipe, put back, and then I'll stop it there, because then I'll show you how to go around an external corner. <laughs> 